Our final type of plate boundary that we're going to discuss is called a transform boundary. Um, just a reminder, I know we've talked about this many times before, uh, but the fact that the plates move indicates that there's some force causing them to move. Uh, and that force that we've discussed many times previously is a convection current. So just like you see in this image, uh, due to the heat in Earth's inner and outer core, you have these circulations that occur, where you have hot material uh, expanding and rising up, interacting with the plates, and as they continue on uh, further and further away from that heat source of the cores, they, that material cools off, condenses, and then sinks back down. Um, and that circulation will continue as long as the inner and outer core uh, continue to have heat that can circulate through that asthenospheric layer. So uh, the plate boundary that can be made depending on the type of circulation in that convection current that we're talking about today is the transform plate boundary. This one's a little bit different than the other types of plate boundaries that we've discussed previously. Uh, we started out talking about our divergent plate boundary where plates move away from one another. Then we went over all the different varieties and types of convergent plate boundaries where plates come together. Transform boundaries is a little bit different. Uh, the plates aren't moving towards or away from one another. Uh, they're actually keeping their current distance. However, they're moving opposite. And you might think, well, that sounds just like divergent. But in this case, you have a type of plate boundary where it's more of kind of a slide or a grind by one another. So either the plates are moving opposite directions. So maybe one is moving east and another is moving west, or one plate is moving north while the other moves south, or some combination. Um, or they could be both going the same direction, but at different rates of speed due to the convection underneath them. So this is just a little graphic or animation that kind of shows one version of a transform boundary. Now you'll notice when these plates move in this manner, they're not coming together, they're not moving apart, they're simply kind of sliding or grinding by one another. So we don't have things like uh, mid-ocean ridges forming, we don't have mountain building, we don't have the ingredients needed to make any type of volcano or volcanic vol volcanic islands. Uh, nothing like that occurs. Really the main thing that is formed in a transform boundary are earthquake events. Um, because you have pressure being built up due to that movement, uh, as that pressure is released when the rock breaks, that will trigger a seismic event, aka an earthquake. And one place in the United States, and in fact one of the most famous transform boundaries in the world, is located in uh, Western California and also kind of Northwestern Mexico. And this is called the San Andreas uh, Fault Line. It basically is a line that uh, exists between the Pacific Plate and part of the North American Plate. I can show you it here. Uh, and it runs almost the entire length of California down through Southern California and eventually continues on uh, into kind of northwestern Mexico, like I mentioned. But it, it is uh, a place where um, these regions, in California at least, are technically connected to the uh, Pacific Plate, and these areas over here and the rest of North America over here and up here, um, or the United States, I should say, is connected to the North American Plate. So you have places that are very near one another that exist on different plates and therefore they move independently of one another. Um, so as time goes on, all of these regions over here on the kind of southwest coast of California are going to continue moving northwards towards essentially Alaska um, is kind of the, the final resting spot given enough time. That's going to take millions and millions and millions of years. Uh, but this section in the southwest corner of California is moving northwest while the rest of uh, this part of the North American plate is moving south and east. 
Um, so that's what makes a transform plate boundary. And like I said, uh, the only thing formed at a transform boundary is potential earthquake events or seismic activity. And that's about it for transform boundaries.